How's it going, guys? Lucian Sword here. I'm super excited to be playing a brand new season of Ranked 1v1 Brawlhalla Season 14. And due to popular request, I'm going to be going with Artemis this season. I asked you guys in the last video, who do you think I should play to Ranked, to Diamond, in Ranked, and you guys said Artemis. So... I'm a little nervous. My Artemis is level 28, so I do know how to play her. And yes, Artemis is a her. But uh, I, I'm not used to playing Artemis in ranked, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I think I'll be all right. I've been playing a lot of Lance lately because of Vector, so I should be okay at least with the Lance and the Artemis. Scythe. Ah, well. I've always been all right with Scythe, so should be able to get Diamond. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, though, wherever you guys are. And uh, yeah, send me your positive energy because, like I said, every time I go to rank, I get nervous. So we'll see how we go. All right, we got our first match of the season. Ooh, Esther. This guy's really good, too. All right, here we go, guys. A true test of my Artemis. Oh, I was trying to do a down sig there. There we go. Weapon spawn, thank you. Oh, the neutral sig comes out. I should have expected that. Haven't played against Ada in a while. All right, now I know it's there. You're only getting one of those. You're only getting one. Boom, yeah, keep spot dodging, boy. Keep spot dodging. Got him! Yeah! Oh man, I'm nervous. He is so good. GG, dude! GG! Oh, feels good, man. Feels good. GG, dude. Alright, let's keep it going, baby. Um, I'll switch up the skin, though. Should we do Future Spirit? I think so. I really do like all the colors on Artemis. Should I do black? But I just gotta go with Gold Forge, you know? Because I spent a lot of glory to unlock this uh, color, so I feel like I want to use it. Um, I, I don't know, We can stick with the Lance and the Scythe. It really... Normally, I do like changing the weapons, but... These actually go really, really well with the uh, with the skin there. I'm using Grim because it's uh, that time of year. We're in the Halloween theme, as you can see. But I'm, all my all my uh, inventory is all decked out with Halloween theme. And uh, ooh, that reminds me, they should be coming out with the Halloween stuff pretty soon. That that's gonna be fun. I usually just rock default uh, base stance with Artemis, Artemis as well. So, all right, let's do it, boys. 
So typically when I'm doing rank 1v1 videos, if you guys have never watched my rank 1v1 videos, I always say, you know, it's a long season. It doesn't matter if I win every single game here. Uh, what matters is that, you know, I try to end at least end the session with more elo than what I started, you know. And even if that's one elo, that's a gain, you know. And, you know, typically I like to only play like four or five ranked games maybe. And then I take a break. You know, I'm not one to just sit there and grind ranked forever. I'm not a pro. Like, I'm not trying to go to tournaments or anything. I'm just trying to get diamond and then chill. <laughs> so, once I uh, play a few games, I'll just take a break. And uh, it works well for me. I'm not saying that, you know, grinding ranked all day every day is a bad thing. I mean, for some people that works well. Uh, for some people that backfires though, you know. I have a friend who went from plat to silver <laughs> in one session. <laughs> So in that case, once you start losing like two, three games in a row, I would recommend just taking a break, you know, take a break from the game in general. Just go outside and <laughs> listen to the birds for a, a few. Also, what really helps is to learn some new moves, learn some new strings, you know, and to do that, you don't have to invent it yourself. Just go watch some videos of like pro players, other good YouTubers that you know, use the same characters that you use or same weapons that you use, and you can learn a lot from that, and then just try to emulate. All right, going against Ember. All right, all right. No, you are not getting that weapon. Stay right there for me. Never mind. They say Katars is the new meta. I disagree. Scythe is still the best. Oh, that was a little early, Ember. Oh, the wolf fight! What? The lag, man. Boom! <laughs> she had no choice but to go there. Oh, man. Come on, come on, you want some? Alright, she wants to stick the bow. And now she's throwing out six and one finally hit me. Oh, sorry, I got her to orange. Good first stock, better than my last match, so. She's a little bit uh, crazy with throwing the weapons, like. Oh, she got me with the step back! That recut that reverse. Alright, no problem, no problem. There we go. Good thing about Ember, for me, is that she has low defense. So if I can just get some good damage on her, I can get a kill pretty pretty quick. Like that is really good for me. And she threw away the weapon again. Ember, you can't take too many more of those. Oh. Oh man, what a reverse! G 
GG, dude, GG. Man. I should have had that, but she won fair and square. I kind of wish I was playing Ember TBH. I'm better with her than I am with Artemis, but I will listen to you guys, and I will play Artemis to Diamond this season, although I want to go Skyforge Artemis. this time. And I think that uh, next season, I'll do Ember. Or, you know what, after I get Diamond with Artemis, because I'm pretty sure I can do it. After I get uh, Diamond, then I'll maybe play some Ember and push beyond Diamond using Ember. That would be fun too. Three, two, one, Going against Fat Breeze. I gotta play a lot better than I did that last match. We both throw away the weapons. Yeah, got her. Oh my gosh, she's still alive. Oh my goodness, Bryn. She just will not die. Okay, never mind, she did. I think she did a spot dodge there and kind of uh, killed her chance of getting back. That's alright. No sweeps! Alright, I'll take that. Oh, gotcha! I can do a neutral thing too! Although I do like Brins better, to, uh, I'm just saying. Oh, that side air, she finally got me! Got my first stock. Alright. GG, dude. GG. <laughs> she got me, but at the cost of the match. GG, GG. Give me that Elo back that we lost, boys. All right. So I need to at least get a new peak Elo on this on this video. Let's go uh, Dark Heart. Oh, let's go Charged OG Dark Heart. This looks really cool. I feel like the more I play, the more warmed up I get and the better I get. And then I just stop me stop playing. But yeah. You know, I like to quit while I'm hot, like I said. Oh that scythe looks so cool. This whole outfit looks cool with the charged OG. Alright, let's see who we're going against. Skittle Barf? Ew, what a name, dude. And you look crazy with that black skin and bright orange hair. That's pretty cool. Definitely Halloween colors.
We take those, boys. We take those. Look at that lance. Bye-bye. Oh my goodness, that was a good little string I had going on there with the scythe. Oof, that side sig got me. Got my first stock down, Skittle Barf. GG! Oh man, it feels good. And he was higher either than me, so we're definitely gonna end higher than what we had originally planned. Oh yeah, boys. All right, I hope you enjoyed this small sample of our season 14 climb to diamond. I think we saw, I don't even remember what we started at. Like 1735 maybe, I don't remember. But we, we, we won three and lost one, I think. So that's a pretty good start uh, with Artemis. And uh, I'm starting to feel a little more confident with Artemis in rank the more I play her. So hopefully by the end, I'll actually be uh, pretty decent to watch. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please drop a like if you did. Be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.